Uh, how do you like living and working here in Oxford? I think Oxford's great. Uh, I was initially only going to be here for sort of my master's course, um, which was nine months in total. Um, so I thought I, would, I was going to be in Oxford for about a year, but I've been here now for about two to a half years. Mm -hmm. I think Oxford's a, a very nice city uh, to be able to live in as a young person. I feel very privileged mm -hmm. um, to be here. Um, there's a lot of um, very smart, kind people. Uh, I think also importantly, I feel like Oxford's a very sort of welcoming environment um, where there's a very healthy work-life balance mm -hmm. um, when you're working on sort of these kind of things and everyone is sort of under the pressures of academia, mm -hmm. I feel like it, it's it's uh, quite easy for the environment to become extremely competitive and toxic. And I think Oxford is particularly very, very good at having mm -hmm. a very positive work-life balance. Um, and as a city, yeah, I think it's very beautiful. Yeah, I mean, right. um, I, I think Oxford is uh, extremely well accomplished. Mm -hmm. um, it's so my course was entirely in COVID. Mm -hmm. So most of my teaching was done online. So it's hard for me to really comment on how the teaching resources were. Um, I, I, I think one thing that Oxford um, did do all right in was translating the academics, but I do think that they could have sort of worked, done a bit better in translating sort of the social life and getting interaction between students uh, during the COVID year. Mm -hmm. So I, I think particularly for sort of maths and physics, it, it's quite important to have communication with your peers maybe when you're talking on problem sets or, or dealing with difficult concepts. And that was a hard thing to emulate during COVID. But um, I think the university tried to do all it could when it came to sort of translating the academics. And in, in terms of research, um, I mean, Oxford is, it is sort of a leading university. And mm -hmm. in, in, in most of these uh, fields that I'm talking about, the field that I'm very, very interested in at the moment of using sort of machine learning, particularly for these problems in string theory, a lot of the people across the world who are working in different groups originated at Oxford, mm -hmm. either as a student or a postdoc or did their PhD here. So Oxford definitely has very far reaching influences. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it's a, it, it's a privilege to be able yeah. to live and study here. Uh, we have